What's up guys, Elton here with Cars and Coasters. We are here in San Francisco, uh, checking out California Academy of Science for the first time. So yeah, man, I'm excited. It's a nice day here at the park, here in San Francisco. And uh, yeah, we got tickets, about $25 each, no, $50 each. Yeah, 50 bucks each. So we're gonna go ahead inside and uh, check it out, see what's new, and uh, do some exploring. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. My name is Elton, let's go. All right, I know I said it's my first time, but that's actually our first time on the channel coming here. I've been here lots of times and posted on my Instagram stories and stuff, but uh, never actually did a full video here before. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, and by the way, guys, for those of you that are new around here, uh, my channel is Cars and Coasters, but that's not what, just, that's not what I just post about. I, uh, I like to explore the whole Bay Area, Northern California, theme parks, I, Six Flags, Great America, and stuff like that, so. Yeah, if you guys uh, like that kind of stuff, tag along, give us give us a subscribe, and uh, hope you uh, enjoy the videos. Now, right when you walk in, a giant T-Rex skeleton model. I'm not sure if it's a real bones or not. I don't think it is, but yeah, that is pretty crazy. All right, let's go head out this way first. We usually go in and head over to the right to the giant dome, living dome. Now this is pretty cool. Right outside the uh, dome here, there's this uh, nursery. These are all baby salmon. Look at that. That is pretty awesome, man. <laughs> wow. Those uh, are about six inches, six to eight inches long. We got some starfish down in there. There's a nice decent sized one right there. Pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead into the dome. Into the dome. Now, for, for those of you who want to grab a quick bite to eat or maybe a snack, coffee, hot chocolate, they have uh, lots of cool stuff in here. They got desserts, uh, salads, and uh, they also have a really cool fish tank inside here too. So if you want to go ahead and have a bite to eat and sit down and have a nice look at some fish. And I believe these are actually arowanas, Australian arowanas. So yeah, these are pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so the line for the dome is actually pretty pretty long, so we're gonna hold off on that for a second. Do some other walking around, so let's check out some other things. Okay, I think this is new because I don't remember seeing this last time. This is called the Fog Room. Fog seeps in. The Bay Area's famous fog often arrives with that warning. Huh. Oh yeah, we get lots of fog in the Bay Area. Let's go check it out. It's like a giant uh, fog machine. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And there's the little grates for all the water to seep through. Huh. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's like a fright fest. <laughs> Now this is really cool. If you look up uh, above you when you come in over here, there's a skeleton of a blue whale, uh, world's largest, biggest mammal, swimming mammal in the world. That is huge, huge. That is just crazy to take in. That something that big lives amongst us. <laughs> crazy. Now one of the most popular attractions here. California Academy of Science is this earthquake uh, room that you step into. Uh, we're earthquake experience. Now I believe this is a 9.0 earthquake. Not exactly sure, but uh, there's actually three earthquakes in there that you uh, experience inside this room. Uh, the three biggest earthquakes here in California. So the 1906 one, I believe, 1989. And uh, should be one more. See, I'm only seeing two here. But yeah, 6.9 magnitude in 89 and the 7.9 in 1906. Crazy, man. But yeah, really popular. It's pretty cool. I'd check it out if you uh, come in here. Now, those of you that live in the Bay Area, 
I, uh, you guys will know about this one. <laughs> the one in Napa, 2014, that was not long ago. This one shook the house I, where I live, and I, I live pretty close to Napa, and oh man, that that was pretty big. It, I felt, it felt like it went on forever, but uh, fun fact, uh, I have a fish tank next to my bed at the time, and I woke up to water being splashed on, on me, so <laughs> fun experience. <laughs> nice little wake up call. By the way guys, if you uh, don't want to wait in line inside, there's also a cafe out here that has uh, little snacks, kind of like a Starbucks stand, you know? It's got like little sandwiches and drinks and coffee and whatnot. So, uh, and I believe they have some, uh, some, some beers on tap too, so yeah, there you go. Out here in the terrace. Now they do have a new exhibit here, it's called the uh, Pauline and Tom Tusher Collections Gallery. Uh, inside is really cool stuff. It's kind of dark, quiet, um, a lot of uh, very sensitive stuff to light, so uh, the lighting inside is very, very limited. So, um, But it does have a lot of cool stuff in there like uh, squids, um, giant tortoise, um, and then uh, saber-toothed tiger, giant sea bass head, and a uh, bunch of cool stuff, man. There's so much more stuff in here. To, uh, to look at so you gotta have to like go ahead and look around for yourself but um yeah lots of little cool things man and then uh, also uh, a shark tooth um, the big shark tooth <laughs> I forgot it's called and uh, compared to nowadays uh, great white shark tooth so man yeah lots of cool stuff in here definitely worth checking out uh, if you guys ever get a chance to uh, come in here Now, a lot of you may not know, but the, this place is famous for the albino alligator here. Check this out. And then they also have snapping turtles in here as well. That is two buddies. Now, they do have names. I don't remember the names quite offhand. But, uh, yeah, this guy's been here for a long time. He's living the life. He's got a fairly big cage, too. And then down here... There's lots of different fish to uh, swim around with as well. See the size of a mirror. It's pretty big. Pretty cool. Now Nemo. Now this is called the shallow reef spot over here. So it's to imitate a, a real functioning ocean. <laughs> you get all kinds of cool sea enemies in here and stuff. So, yeah, pretty cool. Already found Nemo. And then, uh, lots of colorful fish, man. Look at this one. Anyways, yeah, let's head downstairs and uh, check out the rest of it. We're gonna he uh, check out the dome probably towards the end of the um, video because the line is easily an hour, hour and a half wait. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, knock out everything else. It's really a walkthrough, and then we'll get in that towards the end of the uh, the day here. Uh, the museum does close at five, so yeah, got a couple hours left. Also, if you stand right here, if you guys ever been on Soren on California Adventure, it smells exactly like it. It smells just like the beach. It is. It smells good. <laughs> We're going to take this home, put it in a candle, and uh, light it. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm sorry. I'm all over the place here. So I decided to get in line for this because uh, generally we like to do the, the dome first, and then it takes you downstairs. And then from there, you can do the whole aquarium. Uh, from there and make your way back to the top so it's kind of cool way to do it and uh, especially you want to get in here and start the day and do it that way so yeah the dome is next by the way guys this is actually like a mimic uh, ocean here there's little machines that make waves for the fish that live in here uh, in a little bit we'll take you down there and show you um, what it's like very very cool man
Sorry, a little uh, correction here also. The, this mocks not only waves of the ocean, but it mocks the tides of uh, real life uh, oceans. So it'll actually go low tide and high tide. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of water here. And also look at this starfish. Starfish. All we're, all we're missing now is Spongebob. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. We even have some uh, real fish down in here. Living in the swells. Look at this. I'm not sure if it's cod or what. There's one here and one there. Okay, we have made our way into the rainforest. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go explore. Now, I will warn you when you guys come in here, it's very humid, so it's not so bad in the bottom, but when you get to the top, very humid. Um, it is pretty hot, so if you don't really like that kind of thing, I suggest try to get through it as quick as possible or maybe avoid it altogether. So, but it's definitely an experience you guys will want to check out for yourself if you can tolerate it. So, but yeah, enough of that. Let's uh, check out some of the stuff and uh, yeah, a lot of cool stuff in here, guys. All right, welcome to Indiana Jones. <laughs> this is cool. Oh my gosh. That butterfly. Right there. So they do have spider webs in here. Um, I'm not sure if there are real spiders in here. I know there's real spiders inside of this uh, cabin or inside the rainforest thing. Yeah, that is big. Anyways, yeah, let's make our way out of here. <laughs> So yeah, they do have flying butterflies uh, and uh, live insects around the, uh, the inside the globe here. So just kind of watch it. Um, if it lands on you, just kind of brush it off. Don't smush it or anything like that. Just be nice to it. It's a living wall. <laughs> now this, this is a nice fish tank setup. I wish I had this at home. Oh wow, that is cool. Basically it would look like in a flooded rainforest, right here. <laughs> rainforest floor. One of the most common snakes in the jungle. It's a green snake. I'm pretty sure it's a green snake. Yeah. Uh, Red-tailed green snake. Rat snake. Green. Oh my gosh. Red tailed green rat snake. Oh boy, that's a, all kinds of stuff going on there. I just call it a green snake. Wow, look at this, guys. It's like they took a piece of rainforest straight out of the jungle and just dropped it right here in San Francisco. So many butterflies and just tropical plants. Very cool. To the parrots. Unlike the uh, tiki room, these ones don't talk to you. <laughs> Pretty cool. Now usually they have spiders hanging from here, down here, but uh, I don't see them anymore. So cool, man. This is. <laughs> oh, I wish I had this like this in my house. Very cool. All we're missing is monkeys and snakes hanging from trees. Very cool, man. Look at that. Arowana, man, look at that. Silver back arowanas. We'll see them more up close, but man, just to see them this, from this eye up and to see how big they are, it's intimidating just from here. <laughs> man, look at these plants, man. These are so cool.
I was not expecting that. <laughs> you guys caught that. Now capturing sunlight in this is very uh, important for this uh, dome to work because natural sunlight makes just everything in here grow. It is very cool. Now not only that, they have lamps as well, you know, for if, the, if it is a very cloudy day, which if you guys know San Francisco, it does get very, uh, very foggy. So looks like today is a very, very beautiful clear sky. So <laughs> butterfly. Now, these are very, very poisonous frogs. I believe these are the frogs that use uh, the poison to make poison darts. Pretty cool. Okay, fair warning for those of you who don't like spiders. Look away. Check this out. <laughs> that thing is huge. Half the size of my hand. Insane. So these usually are uh, out wandering freely throughout the the uh, dome, but. Uh, I don't see them anymore. Not sure what's going on there. Oh, look at this gecko. <laughs> He's just flaunting it all, huh? It's crazy that they stick to the side like that. Pretty cool. We got a green one, too. Hey, fella. What's up, buddy? Just chilling over here. What's up, buddy? Look how colorful that is. That is crazy. How bright that is, yeah. Better call Geico. <laughs> Found the Geico. Have you guys ever seen crabs and trees before? Check this out. Crabs and trees. Just hanging out in trees. I have never seen that before. Uh, I'm used to seeing crabs more like in the sand or under rocks, but never, never in trees. <laughs> and by the way, uh, can you guys find the mantis? Yeah, there's a praying mantis in here. Check this out. Bam, right there. There's another one up here. Those are really cool too. You get a lot of green ones here in California, but I never see uh, brown ones. Look at that thing. That's that is nice. <laughs> wow. It's flying around freely. All right, that was the second floor up to the uh, third floor, very top. All right, we go. It is very, very humid, <laughs> especially today because the sun is bright. So the brighter the sun, the more humid it's going to be in here because it is very uh, wet in here. <laughs> yeah. Look at it from right here. Looks like you're not even in a structure. I think Jungle Cruise needs some more butterflies on their exhibit. <laughs> Look at that, man, that is cool.
check this out, guys. Yeah, that's right. They have little feeding areas for them. So cool, man. Kind of reminds me of the uh, butterfly exhibit at Six Flags. It's pretty cool. All right, here's another one for you guys. Can you find the bugs? There are three in this footage. Three. Okay, so there's one here. And these are the biggest ones I've seen inside of here so far. One there, and two right there. Oh, look, there's another one up here. Yeah, too much glare, but <laughs> that is pretty cool, man. These things, uh, I don't know what they're called. Giant, uh, jungle nymphs, nymphs, jungle nymphs. It's supposed to make it look like you're uh, part of the jungle to blend in better. If you guys can find another one in this footage, leave a comment, because I only see three. <laughs> now, can you guys tell I'm in a jungle or in San Francisco? <laughs> Can't tell, can you? It is very humid up here. I am dying. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Because if this is how Florida is in the summer, I don't want nothing to do with it. <laughs> uh, it is very humid. Very. I think one of their bugs escaped. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be out here. <laughs> now this is what I call, uh, what do you call it? Anyway, this is, this, is, this is cool. It's a good display. That's what I was looking for. Could not think. This is what you call a butterfly display. That is cool, man. All the different uh, butterflies and things it goes through, the forms. Pretty cool. Check out this Atlas beetle, guys. That is cool. Okay. Alright, we made our way down to the bottom now. Check out some of these tanks. And uh, of course, the aquarium. Now this is called the four-eyed fish. You guys can't tell, you can see it out of the water and under the water, so they call it four-eyed. Look at that, it's pretty cool, huh? So they can see underneath? That's crazy. The top. All right, so this one will be a shocker for you guys. Here's an electric eel. Yeah, you don't want to touch this thing. It'll give you a uh, world of hurt. <laughs> that is pretty cool, man. That is awesome. I wonder if it'll power up a car. <laughs> Probably. Of course, it's a very busy Sunday, guys. So let's try to find some of these fish. Look at this red-tailed catfish. Wow. These things are huge, and these things will eat just about anything that can fit in their mouth. Where's the arowanas at? Oh, there's one up there. There we go. There's some more right here. Silver arowanas. Alright, it's kind of congeated down here, so. Can't really get a whole lot of good footage, but yeah, really cool. People like to come down here and just kind of chill for a bit, but yeah, we got a lot more to cover. Here's a freshwater stingray. It's pretty cool. All right, especially so got the California coast. Here we go. Takes you right into the ocean. <laughs> See, I don't need to go snorkeling. 
just go here. Now this is supposed to be a giant octopus, but a lot of times he likes to hide out. So sometimes you might get lucky, sometimes you won't, but it's always nice to come by here, check out some of the starfish. I think he might be hiding a underneath this rock here. It's usually his go-to place to hide out, but yeah, not out today. Sometimes he'll sit up in the corners here as well. And here's some more fish you'd find here in the uh, coastline. California kelp forest. Look at these little guys, man. It's that's pretty crazy, man. Look at that. Spiky starfish, maybe? No, it's just a sea enemy of some sort. There's your starfish. It's a sand dab tank. They're pretty cool. A sideways face. Sand dollars. I think it's So it looks like the tide pool exhibit's uh, being refurbished here. This is pretty cool. You can go in there and touch stuff that's usually like in the tide pool area, like starfish and different sea enemies. But uh, yeah, excited to see what comes next. Now here's a different tank of uh, fish uh, from California coastline. I'm all, uh. <laughs> I'm trying to read and talk at the same time. It doesn't work. Anyway, this is uh, Southern Rocky Reefs uh, alongside California's Southern Shores. So it's like stripers almost. That's cool, man. Just the views down here, you know, these tanks. Very cool. My name Patrick. 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 We're SpongeBob. <laughs> I do not know how to do his voice. Anyways, that's my impression of. Uh, yeah, Patrick. Oh, look at that, man. That is cool. This thing's like breathing. It's got lips or something. Look at that. <laughs> oh, there's a fish right here, too. It's blending right in. By the way, this is the size of that tank. That is pretty big. All right, so they have a venom area. Very poisonous stuff. Let's go check this out. Now these are white spotted assassin bugs. I pointed these out last time at the San Francisco Zoo. These are pretty cool, man. They, uh, they're very lethal when it comes to killing their prey. All right, well, I see what the buzz is all about over here. Oh, it looks like a beehive of activity. <laughs> yeah, anyways. <laughs> yeah, lots of bees here, man. That's definitely a uh, good rank in the poisonous section, that's for sure. And these, another kind of bees. Oh, look at this puffer fish. Little baby guy. <laughs> Got lips, man. <laughs> That's cool. Now, believe it or not, this is not a rock. This is a uh, fire urchin. Very poisonous. Just do not stick your hands around those needles. Here's another one for you guys. Well, it's moving now, but I was going to say, can you find the scorpion? Look at that. Someone really needs their mom and dad. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it comes to a uh, comes to the scorpion. Look at that. That is pretty cool. Now, did you guys know that platypuses are actually poisonous? So behind their back legs, they have these little daggers 
actually have poison in them. Fun fact, now you know. Alright, this next area is the Twilight Zone. Now this is pretty cool how this uh, whole tank here is set up. So it's actually sticks out from the wall, so they look like they're coming at you at 3D. There's no fish now, but <laughs> look at that. That's pretty cool. All these fish look like they're glowing. Oh, that's really cool. So this one is an inverted uh, tank. You can actually walk up inside here. And these are, uh, I don't know if you guys can see them, but they actually glow. Hello, hello. <laughs> but, uh, look, let's look at that. Just see his little glow. There's a bunch of them. Yeah, these are called flashlight fish. So I'm actually inside the tank right now. It's um, you guys can see this. So, yeah. Take a look through the Cave of Wonders. Oh man, that is cool. Oh man, it looks like they're actually like snorkeling through a cave. Pretty cool, man. Not bad. Now this is one of the biggest tanks in the museum. Check this out, guys. This is huge. Not only that, but it goes around to the other side, too. I'll take you guys over there in a second. But Yeah, if you just want to come back over here, chill, relax. There's a bench down over here. Take a seat. Let's go check out the other one. All right, check this out, guys. I want to hear an ah in the comments. <laughs> Woo. Damn, that is so dope. That is so dope. It is. It, it, I mean, I've been here a handful of times, and it just, it, it just shocks me every time I come in here. It's just so cool. I'm a fish tank fan, guys. If you guys don't know this, but I actually have a 75 gallon tank. At my house, fresh water, uh, salt water, a little more maintenance for me. Don't have really time for it, but I do. Uh, I do respect the fish, man. I do have a little hobby for it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, let's get a little closer for you. Look at this, man. Now, one thing they're probably missing is like a sea turtle. That would be cool, but they have a lot of rocks in here, so probably not good for sea turtles. Look at this. <laughs> Little dude. <laughs> Very fun, man. Bring the kids down here. This is awesome. So cool. All right, we got more to cover. I could be here all day just staring at these fish swim, but yeah, very cool. Okay, so like the flashlight fish, this is kind of one of the same thing, like an inverted glass here. So you can actually go in. My voice is going to change a little bit here. But you're inside of the tank. That is pretty cool. Do they need something like this at Six Flags? I know I'm, I know I'm talking about them, but look at these guys. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> Oh, these are called garden eels, right there. I forgot about that. Now, I've seen these in Finding Nemo. I believe it was Finding Nemo. It's pretty cool, man. Hanging out. Oh, by the way, guys, this is the uh, coral reef section that I'm in now. So where I was just standing before with the big tank is over here, and we're about to uh, check this out. This is really cool. I'm gonna take you guys in here for a second. All right, guys, check this out. <laughs> wow. 
three sixty cent and more garden eels. Somewhere down here. Oh, look at them all. Yeah, all around you. Your story. <laughs> Nemo, though. Hello, hello. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that definitely uh, changes your voice, that's for sure. Here, like I said, I'm in a giant dome, so. So cool. Yeah. Alright, let's go check out the rest. It's hard to see the reflection, but these guys are freaking huge. At least 10 feet. Well, this one's not 10 feet long, but. They can get up to 10 feet long. Things are huge. Look at that. Yeah, the video doesn't do it justice, but uh, oh, these are flower horns, I think. Yeah, flower horns. But yeah, the video doesn't do it justice. These, these things are monstrous. A lot of white flower horns. Pretty cool, man. Now this is a Lurston newt. I also like to call it the spotted newt. These are actually critically endangered. So there's getting more and more rare of these. Very cool, man. Like little water dogs, you know? <laughs> His little face. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Alright, this is an Australian lungfish. Look how huge this thing is. It's gotta be like three and a half, four feet long. Crazy, man. Huge. I think there's another one in here. Oh yeah, right here. Look at that thing, man. Crazy. Oh, this is a gnarly fish. Or sea cucumber. So this is the uh, California sea cucumber. Look at that spiky thing, man. It does not look fun to touch. This looks like some type of goby over here. See this guy? Huh. Yeah, this is, uh, this is what caught my eye. That's pretty crazy looking. Some pink jellyfish. Looks like the fish from, uh, Finding Nemo, the one that uh, Dory and Nemo are running through. <laughs> Pretty cool. And yes, they have seahorse. Look oh, at this guy. This guy looks to be pregnant. Yes, this is uh, one species where they actually the male holds the babies. Fun fact. Pretty cool, huh? Even some, uh, some shrimp, it looks like. Pretty cool, man. These things are dope. Okay, so you know how you guys, how I was upstairs showing the, uh, the tides, how it moves up and down? Well, this is what it looks like under the water. Um, I was actually standing right up here filming before I went into the giant globe. So. Yeah, this is what it looks like underneath. This is it's pretty cool. And this guy, he's, uh, looks like he's on his break. Yeah, we're going to have to talk to the uh, union about this. Fish union. <laughs> oh, that looks like a salmon. That thing's swimming fast. Wow. Very cool, man. This is amazing. Like I said, I could be here all day <laughs> uh, watching these. Uh, really quick, I just want to say sorry for interrupting your video, guys, but thank you for watching this. I uh, really appreciate it. If you guys made it this far into the video, and uh, yeah, stay tuned. We got more to show you. Because I really hope my videos. Uh, bring joy to you guys this is life man this these are just fun you know it's fun I've, I've been doing this for years and never really thought about I mean I put it up on my Instagram stories but never really put them up on 
social media like YouTube and stuff like that. So yeah, just uh, it's fun, fun to do. Now, if you guys are a fan of rattlesnakes, check these guys out. It looks like a female and a male. And there's a the rattler. That is crazy. This is a cane break rattlesnake. It's not a diamond diamondback. And then the yellow one, that's actually not a rattlesnake. That's a uh, yellow rat snake. So, apparently they live together. Oh, there's the uh, uh, copperhead. Oh, okay. So this is this is a copperhead. Copperhead. So there's three snakes. One here, and there, and here. All right, here's another view of the uh, albino alligator chilling up on his rock still. And then this is what it looks like underwater. Look at that. So like I was saying. He's got a good variety of friends down here. Two snapping turtles. These things are huge. A couple of fish. Oh yeah, someone's excited to see the alligators. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, there he is. I think he's pretty much the mascot here. If you guys ever like think of uh, California Academy of Science, that's that is the one thing I think of is. Uh, the albino alligator. Very cool. Now, unfortunately, he cannot be released to the wild because of his color. He will be out, ousted really quick, and he will not survive. So, found a home here. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtle Lab Show, Turtle Power. So, by the way, right behind this tank where the alligator is at, is where those, uh, I think these are gars. Yeah, these are, I think these are gars. Look at that. So I was down here uh, a few minutes ago, recording from down there. This is an or like a bird eye view of the tank. And uh, there you have it. That's pretty much downstairs for you. Um, all the aquarium stuff and uh, some reptiles and bugs and whatnot. So yeah, very cool. Um, there's a couple more things up here we're gonna cover and then uh, wrap it up. By the way guys, there's a giant planetarium in here. I do recommend you guys check it out if you get a chance. Um, I've already done it a couple times, but unfortunately not enough time today to check it out. But this thing is, is pretty cool. Definitely uh, worth checking out. It's um, got a lot of uh, very inf informative stuff in there. So, yeah. This is pretty cool. They made a whole uh, set here from Legos, California Academy of Sciences. <laughs> so cool, man. That's, that's awesome. There's, the, there's actually the globe inside there, the planetarium. Huh. And here's the other side. You can actually see the whale hanging in there. Wow. That is very detailed. Very cool, man. This is a uh, fossil pendulum. Proof that Earth spins. That is pretty cool. Not sure how you say it. Fossil, fossil, fossil. Very horrible English. <laughs> so it just keeps swinging. So if this ever stops, boy, I'd worry. <laughs> We're in big trouble. Now back here on this side of the uh, academy, um, just a lot of informative stuff, you know? different creatures and animals of the planet, how it works, and uh, little things, different inf information. Oh God, what is that smell around here? Jesus. Oh, skunk. He, you. God. Have you ever seen something so small? Look at that. 
size of my finger. Well, you've probably never seen it because uh, it's pretty small. <laughs> Look at that guy. She put that. Just same size of my finger. Good to go. Good to go. Oh, never mind. Okay, now if you're ever in the jungle and you see one of these, I'd probably stay clear. Yeah. A green snake. The green snake. This color changing artist turned green in a matter of months. I'm not sure what that means, but that's what it says. <laughs> now back here they have a whole bird's cage. All kinds of different birds. Uh, Galdian finch. Galdi I'm really probably chopping it up. Gal Golden finch. Golden finch. Hmm. Weird way to spell things. English is a funny language. <laughs> but yeah. Kind of hard to see, but yeah, they're up here all hanging out in the trees. Tweet, tweet. Now also, if you have young ones, there's a bunch of stuff for them back here to climb up on and little trees and stumps and uh, little picnic areas and stuff. So yeah, plenty of stuff for them to do. Oh, by the way, guys, I don't know if I told you this, but they have giraffes here. Yeah, they're just over here hanging out. They stay pretty well maintained right here in the, uh, this little glass casing. No, I'm just kidding. These are actually stuffed. They're not real. These are, uh, yeah, figures of giraffes. Unfortunately, no longer with us, but pretty cool, man. Look how big they are. Even the, oh, well, they are kind of on a stand. <laughs> I was going to say, this one's taller than me, and it's not even fully grown. I mean, it's just born. It's a baby. Anyways, moving on to the to the rest of these. There's a bunch of them in here. If you guys uh, want to check it out. In this area. Oh, and there's penguins too. Yeah. Oh, by the way, guys, they have penguin feedings. So you can go and check that out at 10.30 and 3. That was pretty awesome. Now, unfortunately, it is 4.30, so we missed the, uh, the feeding. But, man, that's... Pretty cool, man. They have these over here in San Francisco at the zoo. Uh, Oakland Zoo, I believe. I have not been there in a while to check out, but they definitely do have them at the Discovery Kingdom Six Flags. Pretty cool creatures, man. Very fun to watch. Another one of those things where you can sit back and watch for hours. <laughs> uh, real quick, they're opening up one of these in Concord, by the way. Not sure of the details of it, but from what I've been seeing, it's pretty decently sized, so um, I'm pretty excited. Uh, when that opens, I will be, man, my, I always lace my eyebrows, I just realized my eyebrows are really, I'm excited. Uh, but no, um, yeah, as soon as it opens, it should be within the next, within this year. So they're moving pretty long, uh, moving along pretty fast. So yeah, it's this new building that's been uh, building on the side of Highway 4 on the Concord Hill by Willow Pass. So, um, from what I've been told or heard, it's something kind of like this, so not sure, but we're definitely going to check it out. Because there is nothing wrong with more stuff to do in the Bay Area, because, man, I feel like we've been missing out on a lot of things, because L.A., man, Southern California, they get all the fun stuff. You guys ever notice a cheetah up here in the tree? <laughs> Just hanging out. So you can see his face. Oh yeah, he sees some prey down there. Oh yeah. Hey buddy. How's it hanging? Oh look, he's looking over the sleeping deer. Oh, what a nice animal. We're protecting it. <laughs> now did you guys know that there's a celebrity in here? Yeah, that's right. Meet the rock. Now don't go taking that joke for granted. What you guys looking at? What you guys look at? What is this? What? Are you, what? what is it? Oh, you guys should not be touching that. I. This is some advice, guys. I know you guys are curious. Just, just step, step away. Don't, don't play with that. All right. I'm just gonna walk away now. You guys do your thing, I guess. Ooh, wild doggies. What you guys looking at? What is? What is it? You guys looking? Oh, freedom, right? Now right outside that uh, little area, there's another little tank over here with a bunch of stingrays. 
Hey, there's one thing that I know you girls have got. Hey, Bridget. It's pretty Come cool, man. Look at all these. Bridget, Rhiannon. This one's just chilling in the sand. Come on with daddy. Look at I that. Got Yeah, these things get pretty big. The starfish reminds me of Darth Maul. <laughs> it's like the Darth Maul of starfish right here. Look at these guys. <laughs> this is pretty trippy, look at this. Scorpion inside a sucker. <laughs> Have you guys ever had one of these? If you have, leave a comment down below. I am curious. How did you guys like that? Because that just throws me off a little bit. All right, we've made our way outside of the museum. Uh, Academy of Science. <laughs> um, they do have cookies and pastries and coffee right out here for you guys. If you guys like sandwiches and hot dogs and whatnot. So, not always, um, you know, if you want to grab something to eat before you go in. But um, once you're inside, you do you are very limited on what you can get. So, yeah. And also, they have this big fun wheel here, Ferris wheel. <laughs> Not sure the ticket prices on it. I believe they're between probably thirty and forty dollars, um, maybe more. So it's a little pricey, but you do get that big view of the park and uh, a little bit of San Francisco up there. So, yeah. I think we're gonna end it here, guys. And uh, yeah, what a nice day. Well, that's going to do it, guys, from the California Academy of Science here in San Francisco. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any comments or, uh, you know, got to say anything, please leave a comment. Any questions, leave a comment. Um, what was your favorite thing in the uh, museum? Um, I'm very curious because uh, I do plan on coming here um, more often, maybe covering some updates and, uh, do, and whatnot. So if you have a favorite part of the museum, I will cover that. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next one. My name is Elton. This is Cars and Coasters. Have a good day. Bye. Went ahead and got myself a coffee. <laughs> Join this walk back. Pretty cool, man. Oh, by the way, guys, the barista had told me that they brought this back, the reggae bands. I guess it's been gone for a few months, so uh, there you go. Coming down and uh, enjoy some music. Reggae in the park on Sundays.